Hey cowboy, welcome to a Thursday Collection Connection, a game that's many things to many people, but for our purposes, it's just an excuse to talk about records. Uh, if you want to know the rules, uh, read the description. Pretty easy to follow along. Let's just get to it. In Eric's last video, he showed Pearl Jam's Vitalogy, and I'm not a big Pearl Jam guy. Uh, listening to it, I realized that in addition to Better Man, which I knew I knew, I also knew Corduroy, but uh, not by name. Once it played, I was like, oh, I guess I do know that song as well. Um, I was surprised. I had assumed that it was a double album, uh, and it was not quite long. It was long enough to be a, a double album on vinyl, <clears throat> but I'm surprised they crammed the 55 minutes onto a single disc uh, a little bit, and it does feel like some of the more uh, indulgent experimental stuff maybe could have been left off, but uh, a lot of the songs are pretty good. I enjoyed Whipping. Uh, I enjoyed... Uh, Tremor Christ felt like a Soundgarden song a little bit. It was pretty good. Not a, not a tough listen. Uh, I had an okay time with it. And so for my connection, I noticed that uh, two of the songs, uh, Better Man and Nothing Man, end in the word man. And uh, maybe picked up what I did with the, uh, the title of the video there. Nothing, nothing man, better man, get it? <laughs> uh, and so I looked to see if I had any other albums where two of the songs ended with the word man. I had a few contenders. There was a, a Paul Weller album, I believe, Illumination. Uh, Cowboy Junkies, which would have been a fine choice, but I thought maybe we'd get out of the 90s. Um, their album, uh, Black Eyed Man which has the song Black Eyed Man and If You Were the Woman and I Was the Man. But I wanted to break out of that era, so I went with uh, an album from 2007, 2008 here in the U.S. And that is the debut solo album by Liam Finn, I'll Be Lightning. Now you can see when I held it up there that came in kind of an eco-friendly packaging, I guess was a, a big thing for Liam Finn. And so it's kind of in this rough uh, brown paper packaging. And so my thumbnail is a combination of the booklet and the cover, because it's a little cleaner photo, the same photo in the booklet inside. And I will award myself some bonus points by connecting it to my prior album too, uh, Cheryl Crow, where I mentioned in that video that Every Day is a Winding Road had a backing vocal from Neil Finn on one track of, of the album. And uh, this also uh, has Neil Finn on bass on one track on the album. So Neil Finn featuring on one track also connects it to my prior choice, oddly enough. So a few, maybe five or six extra bonus points there for me. With Cheryl Crow, that's more of a fun fact, but it's less surprising with Liam Finn as Neil Finn is Liam Finn's father. Liam Finn is currently in uh, the current edition of Crowded House uh, that released an album last year. And he had put out, he had been in a band that I should have looked up the name of. I almost want to call it Betcha Dupa. And if you see this in the video, that means I was right. He put out some solo material. Uh, he's done three albums and I think a little here and there. Uh, besides, this was his first album. I like it a lot. Uh, the the timbre of his voice is exactly like his father's. Uh, if you close your eyes, it sounds like Neil Finn singing. He was doing uh, very much a one-man show uh, at this time. He plays most of the instruments on the album, uh, save for that bass uh, on one track and Drums on a half dozen, not even half dozen, maybe four of the songs, four of the 14 songs. And uh, one other credit, but everything else was all him. And when he performed it on stage, we actually saw him at a show for this album. 
Uh, he would do it by himself and just do use a looping machine and create loops. Uh, he had a theremin up on stage, and uh, yeah, he would just record loops and was very adept with the looping machine and would dive in and out whenever he wanted to play live drums. He would sit down at the set and turn off the loop or add a solo or anything he wanted to do. Uh, pretty entertaining stuff, but it has very much that sort of uh, home studio lo-fi sound to it, uh, but it's good stuff. Uh, Second Chance, I think, is the song that really stands out to me. I think it was actually uh, a single, and Gathered to the Chapel is a lovely song that uh, was often mistaken. <laughs> he said uh, in the show, you know, he people would contact him saying, oh yes, we played this for our wedding, Gathered to the Chapel, but uh, of course it is a song about a funeral and not a wedding, and everybody going to the chapel to bury somebody but uh overall yeah it's a, just a really it's a good album i bought his next one i didn't like it as much and uh just because you never hear his music anywhere really uh i think he put out one other, one other album and i never followed up on it just because i haven't um but as I say, he's now in Crowded House, at least for the time being. And uh, who knows when his next solo album will come out. I can't necessarily think of anything else to say. So I will throw the 2007 slash 2008. Uh, came out in New Zealand uh, in 2007 and I think in the UK as well. Uh, so I'll say the 2007 album, I'll Be Lightning from Liam Finn. And I will throw that over to my brother. Plastic Eric from the Plastic Soundwave Cult. You can watch his response on Monday, uh, as you can just about every Monday. And I play every Thursday. So uh, if you're seeing this and just talking about records has some appeal to you, maybe give us, uh, throw us a subscription. I won't ask you to smash anything. Uh, you can just gently press it and it would be greatly appreciated. But uh, beyond that, Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.